And I'm David, and this is Gemini Builder. Today we're going to begin the second part of our outdoor furniture series. I guess it's a series now. Well, it will be after this. Anyway, we built the outdoor sofa. Thousands upon thousands of you have looked at that, and I truly appreciate that more than you could know. So today we're going to make a matching pair of outdoor chairs. So we uh, went to the big box store, spent like ten dollars and seventy five cents a piece of for a piece of two by four absolutely insane but you got to do it here we are so let's get cutting all right guys so Prior proper planning prevents piss poor performance. I think that's like the seven P rule. So I laid everything out on my little drawing here, all the cuts that I have to make on the two by fours. And this is whatever my waste is. So no wasted cuts, no wasted money because wood is money nowadays. Um, as you can see, or maybe you can't see, I'm not 100% sure. But right here, I have all of my cuts from the blade. So 24, 26, 28, 31, and 33. Those are the sizes that we're gonna be using, all of them two by fours. Um, so everything is pre-cut. I'm pretty sure I won't have to cut anymore, but I may have to cut one more two by four. I'm not sure. So with all the cuts made, we can then start to assemble the base of the seat. So it's pocket hole after pocket hole, side after side. Once they're all drilled, we'll start screwing everything together. And here we are screwing everything together. Here you'll see that I'm screwing pocket holes in for the backs of the chair as well as the side base and the support for the side that the base of the seat will attach to. For the portion of the sides that attaches to the base, I drilled five pocket holes. Two for the front, two for the back, and one to screw directly into the top of the support. All right, let's get uh, the arms installed for the, not the arms, the legs for the front, and then we'll attach the arms and we'll have pretty much a chair, pretty much two chairs.
All right, guys, I'm going to interrupt myself here and just let you know I did not like the back of these chairs. They were 90 degrees to the seat, and the cushion kept sliding back even with the added slat along the base of the back. What I'm going to do is the same thing I did for the outdoor sofa. I'm going to build a separate angled back support, screw it into the sides of the chairs, and get that same 10 degree bevel, much more comfortable seating position. Here we go. So the chairs are built. We changed the back, and by we, I mean I. You guys weren't here. But I changed the back. We originally had gone with just a 90 degree back with two by fours straight across. But when I got to the point of using the chair with the cushions, I was less than happy. The cushions fell backwards and dropped down. They just didn't sit right. They were comfortable enough, but definitely when you do this chair, if you do this chair, we will give you dimensions. Um, you're looking at like a nine degree tilt angled backwards. So it's less comfortable without the cushions, but still very doable. Today we're going to sand everything down, fill these holes, give it a little while to set the glue and uh, put a stain on, get this thing outside because it's going to be 90 for the next four days, and uh, where better to be than out on the deck having cold beverages. Let's get ready. Let's get set. Let's go. All right, all the sanding is done. The holes have been plugged. Now we're just gonna stir up the Bare Premium Outdoor Stain, get it on the chairs, get it ready for the summer. Here we go. Okay guys, that's it. Everything's painted or stained. We just gotta let it dry. Um, very happy with how it came out. There's always bumps along the way. I don't think I've ever built a project that went A to Z without a couple of ones and threes in the mix. So just par for the course. Gotta get cleaned up. This has gotta dry. We'll bring you out to the uh, deck tomorrow. Show you what it looks like when it's in place. Oh, hello there. I gotta get through this ending very quickly because the neighbor's building a deck, the dog is barking, and there's birds flying around. So at some point, you're not gonna be able to hear me clearly. Here we are, end of the build. Chairs are built, everything works great. Very sturdy, very comfortable, highly recommend it. I will put the dimensions in the description. You'll be able to get those and you'll be able to build your own chairs just like this one, maybe even better. On a side note, for all of you guys that watch the outdoor sofa build, the dimensions for this chair 
are the same as for the sofa, except that the seat is three times as wide. So the base for this is 24. The base for the sofa is 72. You can build them with these dimensions. Just add the 72. You're good. So stop complaining to me. Seriously, thank you guys for joining me. I really appreciate it. Please, if you liked the video, hit the like button. Please, if you liked the video, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you can see more videos. I really appreciate all of the time that you guys have given me, and I look forward to making more things with you along the way. Have a great day. Weather's here. Summer. Get out and enjoy it.